good. Um, <laughs> all day. Playing trains. I play trains. They're shadow all trains. Um, the deck's a really good meta call. It breaks Orcus very well. PK, Orcus. Yeah. Um, striker. It's Striker. I don't know. You win some, you lose some. And Salad has a hard time dealing with a um, few follow ups to what they roar, what they read. Um, and having a balance of grave doesn't matter at all. Um, True Draco. Uh, the worst thing they can do is skill drain you, and up until this week I was playing skill drain in the main deck. It doesn't do enough, uh, because you want to go second, that's when the best chance of winning is. So I took it out and replaced it with more than second cards. Um, here's some cards. So we got three super express bullet train. Uh, you pretty much use it more for the search than for the special. Um, sometimes you'll get it off of urgent schedule if you already have a Derek Rain in hand. Uh, Derek Rain's the easiest way to play this deck, this format, is just force this card out. Um, when it's detached, it pops a card on the field, on your opponent's side of the field. So if you urgent schedule it out and you have any other level 10 to get to it and uh, make an XYZ, you can pop two cards or one card burn for 2,000. If they fog blade the XYZ, you get to pop the other set, which is the second fog blade, and uh, then go into your lead and make them uh, lose very easily. Uh, Triple Knight Express Knight, he's a normal summon level 10. Uh, he turns to zero attack, doesn't matter. He's a coward, doesn't want to attack anyways. Um, this is primarily what you're searching off of Revolving Switchyard to start your plays or you're getting a Dara Crane uh, to go with any of the uh, normal summons of the deck. <laughs> this uh, Call the Haunted's a monster in your graveyard, a Earth Machine, and then tutors the levels that way they're both one the same. Usually you just go to both at 10. Um, if you get it off urgent schedule, it doesn't really do anything, so you want to go for Ruffian Railcar. When this is in the graveyard, you get to add a level 10 machine during the end phase. So you use it for link plays primarily, or you um, can pop it with other cards in your deck. Um, up until this list, I was playing Glow Up, and you could synchro with it. Um, and make Nat Beast, make Sky Striker really easy, but again, Striker doesn't really go second, so you don't really have the chance to make a Nat Beast. Um, the Shadow Engine is two cards, it's Beast and Dragon. Um, it's the only two you need. You don't want to play more because you don't want to open them. If you do, you're still fine, but if you have them in deck, it's better. Again, you're playing a going second deck. If you're playing a going first deck, you would probably play a couple more just because you could uh, shed all fusion for Shekinaga from hand. Um, the utility of having them uh, as two, and I've, th I've thought about playing a second dragon or a second beast. Um, I think second dragon over second beast is being able to discard it for Shekinaga's effect, uh, negate a special summon monster. It makes um, playing through your first turn, which is second turn, a little bit easier. For hand traps, I play Triple Ash. It's very staple. It's very good. It'll take you on a second date. Uh, triple Gamma Driver. Uh, I think Gamma is one of the best hand traps in this format. I was thinking about switching it out for Valor. Valor does a lot, but Gamma clears the board of a card, which against something like Salad um, or even Orcus is very. It's very tough for them to follow up. So if you can Gamma. A mermaid, it's a lot better than Valoring it. They can call by the grave of Valor. Uh, they have to ash a Gamma. And ashing the Gamma then makes it so you can just Gamma the Rusty. Uh, for the spells, you got Triple Urgent Schedule. Summons two out of deck. Uh, it's the only thing that you really care if they ash. Uh, triple Revolving Switchyard. This has two effects. One of it, when you summon, it special summons a level four Earth Machine from deck. Uh, you can't deal battle damage that turn, so you just uh, special, make Gustav Max, clear board, 
Um, or you can discard a card, add a level 10 machine from deck to hand, and that's usually what its utility is. Um, to get to that, we play two terraforming. Revolving Switchyard is too important for the deck to not play the terraforming. Uh, triple Shadow Fusion, it's Shadow Fusion. It's pretty busted. Uh, Monster Born, all it takes is them ogring the right card and you're screwed. So Reborn, really, yeah, a lot. Um, sometimes being able to make a link is also very important. No, how often do you the links? Um, rather often. So, Cleefort Genius is really good. It negates things. Especially if you can make Genius have the one monster, they have two monsters, you urgent schedule. Special summons two monsters to the zones Genius points to. And Genius' second effect that almost never goes off is now live. Triple Twin Twister, we aren't losing the mine. And double called by the grave because we're going second. So why not uh, three over two? Uh, because three is for people that play meta. I'm playing tier two, so I gotta act like it. Uh, for, for the extra deck, we play four rank tens. You got Sky Palace. It, it targets and pops a monster. Uh, card your opponent controls burns for a thousand. So Derek Rain in this burns for a thousand and pops two. One Dora. I had two. I realized I don't like two. I don't use two. Dora's only okay if you know you're trying to bait something out, or if you can make Dora and another rank 10. Um, it just doesn't do as much as our boy Gustav Max. We're memeing for games. The big boy. Big boy. One attack from Lieb direct, and Gustav Max is 8k. So we're always going for 8k. I play this. Uh, it takes three level 10s, um, but it feather dusters and your opponent can't respond. And it's 5k, so you get to clear. You, you get to clear Draco if you clear an erupt or a skill drain, and uh, blow up their back row. They can pop it, but so what? They have nothing. Is it when it's uh, uh, You just detach to activate the effect. So even if they can have a follow-up play and this lasts, uh, you can detach the next turn, and they can't respond to it, so they don't get to. Uh, impermanence or chain the erupt at that point. Um, to go over those, we play two Lieb. Lieb is love, love is life. Um, it gains 2000 for detaching one and can attack equal to the number of XYZ material, it has plus one. So usually it's just uh, attacking twice for 6k each. So it helps you go for the OTKs and stuff like that. That's the OTK potential. It also uh, is pretty hard to get over a 4K monster. Yeah. So even if you just leave this on board, it's pretty tough to deal with. Uh, Long Gear Su really handles it, but yeah. aside from that, there's not much. Um, to go with that, we play Panastag though. Mm -hmm. um, it does piercing or whatever it points to. So you make leave under this, and it's 6,000 attacks twice and has piercing. Spicy tag. Yeah. Um, Okay. Against a lot of decks, it's just yeah, it's enough. It too. If they know you're playing trains, they're gonna be like, "Oh, I can put things in defense." This says you can't. Uh, genius. Uh, you get to search a machine if two are special summon to the zone it, zones it points to. Um, to skip ahead to that, that's really important off of urgent schedule because it allows you to have a normal summon um, or like a super bullet because it has to be a level five or higher. So you can get your Night Express, you can get a Dara Crane if you have a way to summon another machine and activate its effect in hand to special summon itself. Or you can add, uh, I don't know, a friend. Um, it's unaffected by spells and traps and other link monsters. And it can negate a card on the field by negating a card it points to. So your monsters don't matter what they do until they're overlaid. So you just negate them then. Misses, their Earths. Uh, Phoenix, it's Phoenix. For the fusions, we play two Shikanaga. You play three fusion. Um, Shikanaga recycles the fusion. So usually if you can get to one, you can just add it back. This makes it so that way you have a follow-up turn for uh, turn four, um, as long as you have another shadow on hand. Super poly targets, because super poly is busted. Uh, clears, yeah, clears Thunder Dragon, clears Salad, clears Orcus. Clears BA, <laughs> clears me out. Clears dark. Um, I played one Pankertops because I, I don't, I don't want to explain. Yep. Uh, double DD Crow. DD Crow is really good against almost every matchup. Um, playing this against Strikers, a really good yeah. choice. Playing against Salad does a lot. 
Uh, Triple Lancia. Lancia has some of the best utility of this format against against Thunder Dragon Salad. Uh, there's so many things it's good against. Double Super Poly. Uh, triple Red Reboot. Uh, you don't want to lose to Mine. You don't want to lose to Alter Guys. You don't want to lose to Orcus. You don't want to lose to Draco. Too evenly because I'm a bad player, and too rivalry because I'm an even worse player. But instant fusioning for something that's off type, and then flipping rivalry is pretty pretty good. Um, some Orcus decks are playing uh, like ways to get to Cherubini and Winda, or um, they start with a Flame Ghost or something, and you flip this, they pass, it's destroyed. We're done here. I'm gonna OTK you. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. Trains. Well, thank you very much, Colby. Appreciate it a lot. Can I name, can I name this Thomas? Uh, yeah. Every time I uh, play this, I just imagine uh, Thomas the Train Engine uh, theme going on repeat in my head. Uh, it's partially psychosis. It's partially just I'm uh, cock. I'm I'll sorry. end it. Don't worry. <laughs> well, thank you, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being Thank you.